Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joe's Architect, and today we are going to be going through nuclear craft even more, kind of finishing that up, and also heading into the rabbit hole that is EMC production. So I hope you guys are ready. So lots of big stuff starting today. We are going to definitely start pushing towards this final fuel here. And what I'm doing now is breaking down uranium. I took that same setup that we had and I'm now breaking it down into its base components here. And I could set up an automatic uranium processing unit the same way we were doing before. I just don't know if that's going to be necessary for this. Um, as we're just not gonna be producing as much as the TBU fuel that we were producing. So right here is the exact list of everything that we need to be able to continue on. As you can see, I have 25 HEU fuel. Because what we're going to need to do is take the HEU fuel in order to make this LEP fuel. This LEP is completely separate from the MOX fuel, but LEP is going to be required as uh, we're going to be required to get one of the ingredients for the LCM fuel. The MOX is also has the other ingredient for the LCM fuel. So everything that comes out of this fuel will inevitably be able to produce the final fuel, which is the HEB fuel. And then whenever this is broken down after it has been uh, completely uh, cooked up in the reactor, uh, that is going to be it, I think, for the final thing we have to get in nuclear craft. So kind of interesting, this uh, whole path that we had to take. So I've completely changed our reactor here, or our, our fission reactor. And uh, I'm, I went back to our original um, setup that we had. I still keep the controller here. Everything's the same. Right, everything is good to go. Um, and as you can see right here, we're, we're, we're at zero heat being produced because this thing is like absolutely perfect for the HEU fuel. And if you notice, the pattern is just like this and it continues on the side. So right here in this like little cube area, we have the lapis going around it. And then we have our reactor casing. On the other side, right directly behind it is the reactor casing here and lapis going behind it. And you just continue that pattern for as big as you want your reactor to be. And uh, these are just lapis coolers. So when I turn this back on, you can see zero heat. It is like perfect. This thing takes two minutes or so um, to be able to go through the fuel as we have 24 cells in here. Um, I didn't want to have to remake more of the uh, the the uh, lapis reactors um, or reactor casings or whatever they're called. Um, so. As you can see, we're producing a lot of power from this, but yeah, two minutes to let this thing produce. It's going to start dropping off a few things and that's going to be for, well, I just actually got rid of it. Um, it's going to be for our, um, it is the plutonium, right? Yeah. The plutonium fuel. So yeah, so this stuff is going to be broken down into the depleted stuff. Take a look at the depleted and the depleted is going to produce these uh, tiny clumps here. And that's really what we're wanting because of course we're going to utilize this to make not the LP, but the, I think it's the HP, HEP fuel. So there we go. So I've let this run for a little while and it looks like it is just about done about to run its last leg here. Let's go ahead and pull the rest of this out. We should be able to get all of these out of here. Awesome. And put this in our system. And we're going to basically just pull out all the plutonium. Same with this. We're going to set this and pull all of it out. Or combine it. There we go. So we have 42 out of all of that. That took a little, little bit of time to get just 42. Um, so we're going to put some of that into a mox fuel because it requires that for the mox fuel, but this fuel also requires it. So the HEP fuel, and uh, that's what we're going to need to be able to get this. I believe it is to go through this route. You see the fuel reprocessors and require depleted mox gives us that, but to get us this stuff, the 46, we need the fuel reprocessor with depleted LEP fuel, not HEP, it needs to be LEP. So let's go ahead and yeah, add this now. We'll take this off. Perfect. So yeah, that makes it a little bit easier on us. Now, this stuff can go directly back into the machine that we've been using for everything else because this actually doesn't require too much to do. <laughs> it's only 40. Um, it does require a little bit more time, but uh, I think we should be able to modify this setup a little bit. I might go back to the water because um, our water... Let's take a look at the water casing, water coolers. 
can do 60, yeah. So we can actually completely change this. I'm gonna <laughs> change this thing back down so that way we can get these things processed up, processed up a lot quicker. So the configuration for our LEP fuel here is not quite, not much different than everything else that we've been doing. It's pretty much the exact same setup that we used for our LE, let's see, nuclear craft. Um, there's so many different fuel types that I'm having a hard time remembering the, all the names. Um, this stuff, the TBU uh, fuel. So this is pretty much the same setup we use for the TBU fuel. It works just as the same um, as this stuff doesn't produce as much power and it also doesn't require as much uh, heat resistance. So pretty, pretty good uh, so far. So I'm just going to let this thing go. It takes about, I don't know, 80 seconds each one, um, which doesn't take too long at all. Um, and as you can see, our EMC is slowly but surely building up. I have officially switched over. I'm actually waiting right now for just another violet matter as of right now in mk7 um we're slowly but surely getting up into the amount of emc that starts to get really really nice so i was doing a deeper dive into this and i actually don't think we're gonna need to even worry about mox fuel um we're producing everything from what we're currently looking at here uh, i mean honestly this depleted um le uh the lecm 243 fuel which we're about to be making right because we have all the ingredients to make this it gives us everything to produce this fuel so i i literally think we're almost done we just need to set up a reactor now to support this like we need to come up with a reactor design that is going to be able to support this fuel and i think just going with any of the reactors that we've had this has a really short time on it will work I mean, if, except for the reactor we're using right now, I mean, going back to any of the other ones will totally work. This this is really good. So here we are with the pretty much the same design that I was using for the HEU fuel. Um, this right here is working exactly the same, um, except for this stuff is going to go really fast simply because it's it's burn down timer. It's processing time is really slow or, or really low. Uh, 43 minutes is its base process if you just had one cell. As you can see, we do have 24, it goes 24 times as fast, and uh, we definitely have enough cooling, and we're producing an efficiency of 100%, perfect. Doing exactly what we want it to do. And as soon as this starts to finish, as soon as this even processes a couple, it, like, we, we get California. Um, yes. And right now, we are up to producing 433 thousand emc every 20 ticks or every second in minecraft so our emc is definitely gaining we're gaining a lot of emc quickly uh we pretty much gain 1 million emc every two seconds so that adds up pretty quickly so after all of that we are down a, just a couple and as you can see we have california california dreaming i really like that um so now that we have this we can combine it and get ourselves a piece of Californium, and of course break that down, and we now have Californium at our fingertips. And of course we need a little bit just to be able to complete this. And as you can see, us completing it, that was the end of the line for Californium. Uh, we are at 89%. I think the rest of the stuff is going to be EMC based. Of course, going to the end of, is going to require uh, more EMC and getting cyan matter. Is going to require emc um but all of this is going to be pretty easy once we get the watch of flowing time so um the watch of flowing time is not too bad if we take a look at its requirements of course it requires um 60 billion per orange matter but here soon as we start to progress higher and higher in our levels here with our say so just right now we have 500 and uh like 500 million and that was just from setting here for just some, a few moments that builds up super fast when you're producing almost a million emc a second um so we're gonna be almost at a million emc a second real soon like it's not gonna take too long at all um and right now we're only at violet matter so i i see once we get up a little bit higher in the in the tier i think maybe just afking a little bit um normally i don't afk but i think today would probably be a good day to AFK a bit just so we can get our EMC up a little bit um, and uh, that way we can actually start progressing further because right now we're kind of just waiting 
for EMC at the moment. So before we wait, let's actually go ahead and buy a few things. So we have a lot of cash stored away and there's a couple of things that we can only get from purchasing them. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's just go ahead and buy all of these things that we haven't bought before. I don't even know if we have this or this. I'm pretty sure we have neon. St uh, stromium, I'm pretty sure we have that as well. Um, of course, we'll find out what we don't have later on. But of course, throwing this all in here is going to be mighty fine. Um, because this is also a thing that we need to complete. The periodical table. And this just takes a little bit of time. And EMC. Not as much EMC because not many things are worth a lot of EMC at this point. Um, but we definitely still need to try and complete the periodical table. Um, and there's a lot left to do. As you can see, we're only 42% completed. And we just got to basically fill our whole inventory with at least one of these um, elements. And then we're uh, we're off to the races, guys. So I have slowly but surely been grinding up through the EMC ranks. And I'm now setting at the green. I have enough EMC to get the green. And I saved up enough EMC to for now to make the watch a flowing time. This thing is going to be epic. So... Let's go ahead and get everything we need to make the watch in flowing time. It's going to be orange matter. We need four of them. So we barely have enough for four of them. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it, right? We just need glowstone. Um, we take a look over here. Uh, the watch is what we need. And some obsidian. And there's the watch of flowing time. Now, the watch of flowing time, we can activate it. Fast forward. That fast forwards time. Of course, you can see that going there. Um, we can rewind and we can set it to off. Um, if we hit V, then we can make it go faster, I believe. Yeah. If we charge this thing up, of course, uh, hitting a uh, G, I think, I don't remember which key it is. There's one of these keys that actually, uh, should let us like do it like with it in her hand, but I'm going to go ahead and place it on a pedestal because I know that's going to work as well. So we're going to need some dark matter for that. Dark matter blocks. And we're also going to need some red matter as well to make the pedestal. Cause I know this is at least going to go fa pretty fast. Nope. Let's get that red matter. I want all that EMC to be in our tablet. And here we go. So we place this here, place that on top. And then activate it, and this thing should skyrocket on producing EMC. Look at that. And this is just one that's going. And, I mean, all we got to do is just keep placing more and more. I mean, and this thing will pick up on all this. Uh, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, even if we have these weak ones that are here. This, by the way, I think goes out four blocks or goes out three blocks from it. Goes a pretty good distance away. But yeah, now we're producing EMC at a, a tremendous rate. Um, and we definitely should be able to get to the final star very soon. So I want to switch over and have exclusively high grade fuel while we're letting our EMC build up. You can see we're at 11 billion a second now. Kind of ridiculous. I'm going to take my um, MK2 here because I don't really need it anymore. I do need my personal EMC link. And uh, we're going to basically set an item in here that is going to constantly be pulled out. And that is going to be uranium. So we'll just have uranium always being pulled out. And you could set the slot here. So let's get uranium. Actually, I need uranium in here. In here. There we go. And it's going to act kind of like a hopper. Uranium is always going to be pulled out of here and always going to enter here. And we're always going to have this setup kind of going. So what we can do is get our crafter that we have or that we had before. And uh, we're also going to need, let's see, conduit, a little bit more conduit here and our get a wrench. So we're almost done uh, with this process. Like we're, we're about to have unlimited power here in a moment. And this is going to be the start of that. It's going to be the start of our power network here. Um, we also need conduit, energy conduit. So go ahead and grab that. And yeah, we're just going to basically set up an energy conduit system here. And uh, we're also going to use these conduits as well. Because these are going to need to be extracted. Um, I'm pretty sure this right here is going to need another crafter. So I might have to make another crafter to get this process working. 
yeah, I think we're gonna have to make another crafter. So let's go ahead and get our crafter set up. So this one's already configured. This is the one that we just made. So this one's brand new and we're gonna have to put a double layer capacitor in there to get it started. But we should be able to place these right next to one another. So what I need is to take this exclusively out of here and uh, we're gonna get our Yetta wrench. And yeah, we're just gonna get this thing going uh, directly in here. I think we have some filters. Um, we should be able to make some anyways. Just some plain Jane filters here. Perfect. So this is going to, I, I don't remember if I have these set on different channels. I think I do. So we're going to extract on purple, always active. And this will be set on purple. Right. And I shouldn't have to use a filter for this since this is being set on that, that particular channel. Same for this. I don't think we might, we shouldn't have to use a uh, channel here either. So we put this to cyan. We can set the insert to cyan and it shouldn't matter either, right? Um, and make sure this is set to insert. So this should be getting filled with these tiny clumps if everything is configured properly. And uh, all I gotta do now is say, all right, take the tiny clumps right here and it's being filled up and it's producing them. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna configure this to go push over to the next area, which is gonna be this crafter. Um, this crafter needs to be completely changed. And then we're gonna take a little bit of this and this, actually we probably need all of this because we're gonna be making a special type of fuel just like so, and like this, and that's gonna make the HEU fuel. And you're gonna see that that's gonna start building up and it's gonna start producing the HEU fuel. And uh, we're just gonna basically leave this automated. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our ender chest that is marked. We place this next to this. It's already set to push, and that's gonna start going into here. And our reactor is already set up for this particular type of fuel. So we pretty much have unlimited uh, fuel. It's uh, kind of ridiculous, but uh, we have unlimited fuel now due to EMC. We have unlimited power. Um, that should last forever, right? Uh, as soon as this fuel burns down, this reactor is actually set up to work specifically with this fuel. And uh, we're gonna be gaining tons of power from that, more than we'll probably ever need in this mod pack. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video guys a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We have a bit more left in this pack to do, and I can't wait to get it done with you guys. So be on the lookout for these episodes. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.